Good early morning on this just approaching sunrise on this early summer, mid June day in the greater Bloomington metropolitan area in central Illinois. On another hot day, but not as hot with some cloud cover, highs in the lower 80s, right? <laughs> oh, did you bite? Oh, did you bite? It's very early. It's five o'clock in the morning. I just got up. You gotta be to work in a couple hours. Figured I'd give you a little update. Uh, you see, Digibyte is doing about what we thought yesterday in the hour time frame. See that? We said it could come up to this green moving average. Bam, and it did. A little bit of a pump in volume now, but now you see you need a monocle. Way down now, see that, to try to see uh, the price. Outside shot that you come run up here today and then crash, more likely you're going to start trading down, right? So if we take this line out, we take that line up, we take that line down. Here's what most likely with our industry exclusive drawing tool, YouTube made famous, is you get rejected, you come down, then you dance, and then you come down. And then you dance and then you come down. This is the most likely scenario in Digibyte today. Because as you do know, old Vincenzo thinks you're coming down well really quick. And then he thinks you're coming down well after. So this is what I would look for in Digibyte today. I think it's going to get knocked down by these moving averages. Uh, XLM, this is just going to be really quick. XLM is in the same thing. You can see we drew this out for you uh, two days ago, what we thought XLM might do. It's following it beautifully. It's getting caught in the moving averages right now. We'll delete that off now just to clear this up. It's getting caught up in the moving averages and you're either going to pop really quick up to 35 cents and then get rejected and then trade down, right? Or you're going to get forced down by these moving averages right now. So a forced down is option one coming up and then forced down is option two. And XLM 30, this is down sloping. So your upper resistance is 35 cents. Your lower support is still 31 cents. And I think you're coming down now. And then by the week on, you're going to be down here. And then I think by next week, you're going to be down even lower. But this is what I would watch out for in Digibyte or uh, XLM today. Uh, Ethereum, same thing. We hit our upper resistance, right? We drew this pattern out for you yesterday. We said we're in a rising wedge right now. And as soon as we break that, we're coming back to 24 because we're coming much, much lower. And uh, Ethereum, I did extensive video on it last night. It's got 200 views. Check it out. And then we'll round out with Dogecoin. You see Dogecoin still running it. We put out a couple tracks for you, the upper one, to come up and get upper resistance. We're in this pattern still. You got a couple more days, so you're either going to trade sideways and up to this 33 cent level, 35 cent level to get rejected, and then come back down to 29, or you're going to come back down to 29 first, and then come and hit it over here. So this is what you're in in Dogecoin today, right now. You're going to bounce around in the support and resistance until you break down, right? Uh, and that's it for this quick update. I'm not a financial advisor, nor do I play one on my own radio show. This is strictly educational and entertainment only. I cannot recommend stocks, securities, the uh, well, Forex currencies, or crypto. Strictly my own personal opinion and my beliefs and what I'm doing on the market. Peace and love. Peace and love.